people, welcome to Blue K Jazz Dance. This is me. I'm on the front of an amazing festival. And that amazing festival was Mixed Movement Festival brought here by a woman called Unite from the United States called Dawn Crandall. And I call this picture Rebirth of the Cool. It's my return to the established stage as a live improvisational performer. The values of my dancing basically come from studying bebop, cool and modern. All modern dance, experimental dance, theatre, music, anything that can enhance my development as a live improvisation performer, I've studied it. I went to university to do a business plan to come back as a live improvisational dance leader, dance manager, dance developer. Recognised for doing over 40, 50, 60 projects around raising the prestige, the profile and status of live improvisational performance. So people got that. One of the key things I want to share with individuals, the North of England dancers of UK Jazz Dance, the pioneers, the original innovators, they were lost to the city because one of a lack of of investment in actual competitions. The history of black dance, the success of black dance, or any dance, has been the factor if you get investors to invest in competitions to raise its prestige, status and profile. Think about Jazz Tap, think about Lindy Hop, Ragtime, Charleston, Swing Dance. Think about <coughs> everything I'm talking about. Be it dance in, general, dance in general, the jig, the reel, hornpipe, flamenco, tango, ballroom, what enabled the dance to become recognised and have a sustainable life was competitions. Why my work is to raise people awareness, why has the north of England the best dancers, but them dancers had to leave their city to raise the prestige of their dance? The reason is because in the north of England, what happened was the dancers were hated and despised because of their culture, which was West Indian. That's right. That's the reason. The dancers, promoters hated the dancers and they hated the dance culture. So the dancers imported their cultures to other parts of the world and other parts of the UK. They went, left their cities to go and study in London where they got better op commercial opportunities to develop what they're doing. And I'm one of the northern dancers. I'm from Manchester, the city of Manchester, the last surviving UK jazz dancer who nationally travelled north, south and east and west, observing in official capacity the different cultures in dance because dance doesn't happen in a vacuum. Dance is influenced by politics, economics, technological environment, legal structures, influenced by social, physical, intellectual, cultural, emotional, spiritual. It's influenced by terrain. I was an individual who made my self trained myself to be a dance educator and identified to people dance is a PhD subject, it's a master's subject, it's a degree subject. All level is just a surface, you don't get to know knowledge. And what happened was my studying dance came about for me in international teachers. They all had masters. They don't have a degree in Europe. So the level of knowledge, when I met teachers as a British representative in Europe of the European artists was a high level in the context of their knowledge. But when they met me as a self-trained dancer, they were shocked to know the level of knowledge I had. It was on the level of masters. Why? Because